Hello and welcome to the channel. The Rolling Hall Progressives Congress APC brought its presidential campaign rally to a close yesterday in Lagos State, home state of the presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It was a colorful grand finale as President Buhari was on hand to bring the court scene to a close on the party's last campaign stop. Large crowds came out to show support for the APC flag bearer, the Lagos City Boy. The procession was orderly too as Tinubu in an open double-decker bus started out from the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, all the way down to the Teslim Balogun Stadium, Suruleri, venue of the rally. As usual, all the things you'd expect a man contesting for an election to be said, was said. Buhari started off by declaring Tinubu winner for an election that is still three days away. Tinubu on his part promised to continue from where Buhari had stopped. If that's the case, then we are in for it. Even the APC chairman spoke as well as wife of Tinubu, Oluremi. Let's bring you to the scene of the event before I talk everything for here. Subscribe, like, share, and comment thank you colorful road show draws curtain on tinubu's campaign a huge crowd of party members and supporters yesterday welcomed the all progressives congress apc presidential campaign train to lagos for the final rally of the ruling party exuding confidence tinubu who was full of praises for the party leader president muhammad buhari promised to work hard like him for Nigeria if elected. The president who raised the hands of Tinubu, his running mates, Senator Kashim Shetima and Governor Babaji Desanwolu wished them success at the polls. President Buhari said, I have the honor to raise the hands of the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Tinubu, and the governor of Lagos State, Babaji Desanwolu, for re-election. Congratulations and I wish APC the best. The APC National Chairman, Senator Abdullah Adamu, who presided over the rally, described Tinubu as the president in waiting, saying that the crowds that graced the campaigns across the country had signaled the victory of the party. Adamu, a former governor of Nasarawa State, assured that Tinubu will build on the legacies of the president. He said, we are here for a symbolic rally where President Buhari is bringing the APC candidates to his home state after a long campaign. We have toured the whole country and we thank God for a successful campaign. We are assured of victory going by the large turnout in various states. It is our hope that the legacies of President Buhari will be built upon by Asiwaju Tinubu. To accomplish this, we need your votes. The die is cast. We have a president waiting to be sworn in on May 29. It was a special homecoming for the former Lagos State Governor, who rode confidently in a double-decker bus from the Motola Mohammed Airport, Ikeja, through Mushin to Teslim Balogun Stadium, Surulere, the venue of the carnival-like rally. The procession passed through Ikorodu Road, busting out at Western Avenue, Surulere. Lagosians trooped out to catch a glimpse of the standard bearer shouting Asiwaju Jagaban. Tinubu was accompanied by his running mate Shetima, who Buhari described as a loyal, dependable, and courageous ally. Senator Adamu, campaign director general and plateau state governor Simon Lalong, Kogi state governor Yahaya Bello, Ninja state governor Abubakar Sani Bello, Gombe state governor Inuwa Yahaya, Senate President Ahmed Lawan, House of Representatives Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila, and Kebi State Governor Atiku Bagudu. Also with him were the host Sam Wolu, his deputy Dr. Obafemi Hamzat, Youth and Sports Minister Sunday Dare, Senator Solomon Adiola, Ekiti State Governor Biodun Oyebanji, former Bono State Governor Modi Sherif, Ayiri Imami, Kashim Imam, Senator Musliu Obanikoro, Information and Culture Minister al Arji, Lai Mohammed, former Ocean State Governor Boyega Oyetola, 
and Director Strategic Communication APC Campaign Council, Dele Alake. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. They we are welcome to the main bowl of the stadium by Governance Advisory Council GAC members Senator Oluremi Tinubu, Chief Rabiu Oluwa, Busura Alebiosu, Prince Abiodun Ogunleye, Olorun Fumi Bashorun, amongst others. Youths and students of the Lagos State University and Lagos State Polytechnic stormed the venue to affirm their endorsement of Tinubu and Sanwolu. Artists including Jide Kosoko, Foluke Daramola, Mama Surutu, Yinka Kwadri, Zak Oji, Sahid Balogun, and Fathaya Balogun, and Ace Fuji Maestro Chief Wasiu Ayende entertained the crowd. The rally was orderly. It kicked off after Tinubu and other party leaders rode into the main bowl around 3 p.m. with opening prayers said by Bishop Stephen Adegbite and Chief Imam of Lagos. Petty traders took the opportunity to make fortune as they hawked inside and outside the stadium unhindered. Supporters of various senatorial, House of Representatives and Assembly candidates were in an excited mood, singing and dancing around the main bowl, on displaying the banners and placards of their candidates. Tinubu thanked the crowd for their patience, love and commitment, urging them to maintain that dedication on poll day. He said there will be elaborate celebrations after victory, urging them to vote for him and Sanwo Lu to make it a reality. Hailing the president, Tinubu acknowledged his commitment to a transparent poll and laying a solid foundation for the future generation. He said, as you worked hard for me, I will work hard for Nigeria. All the plans set out in our action plan for renewed hope for Nigerians will be pursued rigorously. The Standard Bearer thanked President Buhari for standing firm for democracy, accountability, transparency and fairness. Recalling his journey through the primary and choice of running mates, Tinubu said, the president asked all of us interested to go and contest the primary of our party. After I was picked overwhelmingly by the delegates, he didn't ask them to change the results because of my tribe or religion or because I'm not from Daura like him. He accepted me and celebrated with me, telling me, you are almost there now. Tinubu also recalled that when it was time for the choice of a running mate, the president turned down his offer to choose for him, telling him, you know better, you are very experienced and you know the kind of person who will assist you to run the country. So pick that person. He said President Buhari gave him the courage, the confidence and the will to pick the right running mates. That's the news guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.